Okay, in the previous video we spoke about vectors and scalars, mainly the differentiation between them. Um, in this video we're going to talk, well, from now on we're going to mainly concentrate on vectors because remember we're talking about motion in a plane, so we have to give some direction to where our particle or a car or whatever is moving, so we're only going to deal with vectors for the most of it. So, today we're going to define something called um, position, a position vector. So, a position vector. So, what is a position vector? Before we say what a position vector is, what is position itself? Think of it for a second. How would you define position? Well, you'd say, uh, my position is, um, you couldn't. You couldn't define position without referencing it to something. You could say, I am at home. Now, you're defining your position with respect to your house. Or with respect to, say, Bahrain. I am in Adlia. Now, that is your position with respect to Bahrain. With respect to... Um, well, basically, you have to give your position with respect to something. You couldn't just say, I am at position X. Because position X has to be defined with, uh, with a reference or with respect to something else. So, whenever we talk about position, we are generally giving a position with respect to the standard reference plane, which is our coordinate system. Right? So, if I give... A basic coordinate system all right this is a coordinate system let this be the x-axis let this be the y-axis so say I am at this position all right so I'm gonna call this position whatever you want to call it position a okay how would you define position a well you'd say I am this far from the y-axis and I'm this far from the x-axis right well a position vector makes it easier to define position right we define the position with respect to the origin always with respect to the origin so that's the origin all right the position vector would be the vector that joins the origin to your position that vector is called the position vector so that is the position vector right now the position vector is in most cases denoted by r uh, i don't know why they just in in most of the cases it's um it's denoted as r all right so that is the position vector so um so basically a position vector is the distance is the distance of the particle that's here from the origin this distance is our um, is OA or vector R right is your position vector now say you went from A to another point the particle moved to another point let this be a dash now I could have called it B but you know we like to make things look cool so we put a dash it just looks better so what would our new position vector be well the same shit it's gonna be, I'm sorry the same stuff it's gonna be from the origin to uh, our new point right so that let's call it r dash vector r dash so r dash or o a dash is our new position vector okay so this is our first our initial position was a then it moved to a dash so we can define something different now we can define something called as a displacement vector that is this ah, let's just use black so it's so simple to see that 
O, uh, let's do it this way, A, A dash, is now our displacement vector. Uh, vector. It's our displacement vector. And our dis what it is, is actually our final position minus our initial position, right? That would give us the displacement, right? Final position minus initial position. So it works the same way to say that it is our it is our final position vector minus our initial position vector. Now, uh, this part is not that important right now because when we talk about addition and subtraction of vectors is when you will understand this really well. Just for now, it's it could be thought of as O A minus O A dash minus O A. Remember, these are vectors, so we put a, a a dash over it. That is our displacement vector. So in this video, we basically just defined two things. We defined what position vector is and what a displacement vector is. So remember, whenever we talk about position, we always talk about a position vector because position makes no sense because you have to put it with reference to something with reference to the origin is always 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 acceptable because at any point in the standard reference plane you can give the position with respect to the origin and that is why we use or we invented or they invented position a position vector and a displacement vector so we know that position is now a vector, displacement is also a vector, which gives us the idea that distance is also a vector. So everything that we thought of in the previous, well, previous grades saying that, you know, everything has to be thought of as vectors now because they do have a certain direction. So in the next video, we're going to talk about addition of vectors and multiplication of vectors and subtraction, basic vector geometry or vector arithmetic.